Connor Ben, excellent rising welterweight star from the UK against Adrian Granados from Mexico, a 33 fight season veteran. Darren only ever stopped by the very competent Danny Garcia, uh, but an opportunity for Connor Ben to make a statement. Yeah, look, I think the most important thing for Team Ben is to try and get some rounds, but he punches that hard. I mean, I've taken Connor on the pads. He punches extremely hard with both hands. So you never know. He, he, it could be a first round blowout again. But with Granadas, he has that experience. He, he's as tough as old boots. And I think that the, the aim here would be for Granadas to try and old man Connor, get him into the later rounds. But with Connor, just to be smart, be sensible early on. A lot of people were talking about whether this was a sideways step uh, for Connor after that 82 second destructive stoppage of Samuel Vargas. But of course, he didn't get the round in that fight that he was supposed to get. He hopes maybe that he'll get them in this fight, but there's no certainty with the way that Connor fights. No. Um, do you want to get the gloves? I'll get the pads and we'll have a look at where this are fight... You, are, you ready? are you ready for I'm this, I'm always mate? ready for you, mate. You sure? I'm always ready for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the one thing we know about Adrian Granados is he's going to take to the outside of the ring early, partly because Connor Ben's physical strength. He likes to hold the centre of the ring, but Granados tends to move in, in a wide arc in an almost a clockwise fashion, doesn't he? Yeah, it's like he wants to get familiar with the ring. The first bell starts. He just likes to move and he's always to his left, like you say, all the time. So he'll just move, quite nimble on his feet. He'll move, but he makes it quite obvious when he's about to attack. So he'll plant his feet, he'll shuffle, shuffle, bang, bang. He'll throw the one, two. So it's almost like a, a, a two's phase thing, but he's quite slow with it. So he'll move, he'll stop, go, go. Bang. So for Connor, it's about moving your feet out of range. So if I'm, if I'm uh, Granados and I'm stepping to you now as, as Connor Ben, just, just show me kind of, obviously he wants to, to track Granados on that, on that kind of clockwise movement, but then he's got to wait. As soon as he sees him, just hold yep. his feet, comes to, and then he steps off. As he's got a bit older, he leaves his feet there and he falls over his front foot. We've seen with Connor in the past, he moves out of range so quickly. Just a little half a yard, takes a little step back, then he's able to either throw the right hand or the left hook. So we'll start with the left, you fall short, you come back, come back with a sharp left hook. Hup, bang. Hup. How's it man's, all right? Yeah, pretty good, mate, yeah. <laughs> but then again, same with the right hand. Look, haven't taken Connor on the pads, like I say, punches so hard with both hands. So he's got the option. So you can take the feet out, bang, right hand. Feet out, hook, bang. Yeah, nice. Take your head off center as well, which he does really well. Um, so th they're the shots, I think. It's about speed of hand and speed of foot, just to make the older Granadas fall over his front foot, bang, come back with a counter. So this is against Adrian Broner, and you see straight away, even though Broner was coming up from the lower weights, not the biggest and, and not the strongest fighter at 147, it didn't take long before he held centre ring and uh, Granados started to, to kind of step around him. So you see in his early goings already, just taking that little kind of Ali backwards jog that he does and then he does that shuffle in to range, falls in over the right hand sometimes and that's where you want to see Connor just take that little step out. Yep, exactly. Glide out of range. He does it very quick with his feet and he'll look for the counter. The beauty of Connor Ben is he can punch with both hands. So not only can he throw the left hook, the, the counter left to you can throw the right hand also. And this is it in evidence here. As he steps in, half step back from Adrian Broner there, makes him fall short with a jab, right hand counter. That's exactly what Connor will look for. Uh, and like I say, with both hands, he can finish with the left hook as well. So when you watch this against Formello, we talked about when Granados falls over the front foot with that jab. See Ben just slipping outside the line here against Formella and also coming right up through the middle with that savage uppercut. Yeah, definitely with Granados falling over his front foot uh, and we know how well Ben delivers the uppercut with real speed and spite. I think it's a great shot. So in the Samuel Vargas fight, um, there were about 23 or 24 unanswered punches in the finish that, that left Michael Alexander no chance but to wave it off. He lands Conor Ben something like 20 or 21 of them. Incredible accuracy, given that Vargas was reeling backwards and off balance and, and Ben was having to adjust on the go. Uh, shows you how much he's come on. The, the one-two that started the unravelling process, very, very interesting because he throws that one-two in a couple of different ways. And that variation it is crucial, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, uh, having worked with Tony Sims, Connor's trainer for 10 years, I know that Tony's always, always jumping on about mixing up your shots, different variation. You don't want to be predictable, and that's something he does with all the shots. Variation with the jab, etc. But in this uh, situation, it was the right hand. So there's, there's 
I think from the off, he throws it straight down the middle, catches Vargas by surprise, tap, 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 bang, straight down the middle, your conventional right hand. But what he does so well as well, he gets wide with it at times, and he's able to catch the chin, get you around the side of the head, hit ear. Well. I've had my ear perforated through shots like that. It's horrible, they take their toll, and Connor throws it so well with so much spite. So he'll tap, 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 wide, come back round. Tap, tap, bang, yeah, it's a nice. lovely shot. Yeah, and that's what started the, the process unravelling. And then what he showed in that fight was, was a brilliant killer instinct. He's it? a tremendous finisher. And he, though he's very, uh, he's young, inexperienced, you could say, but he, he's just ferocious. But what he does, he does it in a calm manner. So he's not going 100 miles per hour like a complete nutcase. He's taking his time, but he's throwing the shots with so much spite. Different angles, different variation. Uppercut body, right hands with different variation. Tremendous finisher. So Darren, we talked about Connor throwing the straight one to down the middle and then the adjustment that he made moments later and just the way that he arced that right hand round and we see it here. It's a lovely shot right round the back of the guard. Vargas, a little guilty of putting his lead hand out in front of him, but I can't tell you how painful those shots are. They really, really do take their toll. He follows up with the uppercut, comes around the side again and uh, well, already starting to put a dent in a man that Virgil Ortiz took seven rounds to break up. He punches so hard. Having taken Connor on the pads, honestly, with both hands, he's, uh, he's a huge puncher. And you can see here, he's so spiteful. Once he's got you hurt, he does not let you off the hook. And just see the precision with which he doesn't just load up and mindlessly headhunt. He has a look here, little pause, touches with the lead hand just to occupy the guard, block the vision, and then knows where he's going to punch. And again, precision, not just ferocity, but everything's got thought behind it. With, with real speed, and though he's on the hunt, he's on the prowl, and he's looking to finish his opponent, he's not getting greedy. He's still thinking throughout and uh, picking the shots really, really well. So another big test for Conor Ben on his quest to the top. Adrian Granados is his opponent, and it's live around the world on the zone.